We have now reached October, and even though it's warm and sunny weather today, the forecast predicts colder weather ahead. We will therefore take this time to harvest most of our vegetables and prepare our garden for the winter. This is the first time we have grown Chinese cabbage. I think the growths have been rather good, even though they are a bit bug infested. We plan to ferment uh, this uh, and make kimchi later on. We have never done that before, Ed, but we really like the taste of kimchi and uh, thought it would be fun to uh, try it. Then we harvest the cucumbers that remains. Although the harvest of cucumbers was really bad this year, we plan to grow them again next year. Hopefully there will not be as bad weather like it was this summer. And then we have the weeds. Um, yeah, what to say, they has apparently been doing very well in recent weeks. But uh, now, finally, we get rid of them and it feels so good. I clean up the uh, polka beets in our outdoor kitchen uh, and it hits me when I'm standing here and cutting that it's probably the last time we use this uh, this summer. We built this uh, earlier and uh, we actually have a video showing the different process steps uh, when we are doing that. It's a link below in the description. We take all the garden waste to the compost bins, uh, which are actually getting rather full now. In the spring we will empty them and then they have sunk in a lot. Uh, and in that way we will get free soil, uh, very high quality soil that we could use in the garden for next uh, growing season. So that was today's harvest. The plants we left in the kitchen garden are some herbs and kale. And uh, these plants usually survive the cold weather. The major challenge we face is the dairy moose that tend to eat the cabbage. Fingers crossed we don't get a visit from them this winter. After harvesting, we need to take care of the produce in some way. The freshness is usually lost very fast and uh, we need to preserve it uh, in order to enjoy this produce for a longer time. Usually we will spend an equal amount of the time in the kitchen as in the garden harvesting. For the basil, uh, we did not get that much this year and we just kept it easy by making a simple pesto. This uh, consists of basil, garlic, and olive oil. We then put that in the freezer and conserve it that way.
for the jalapenos we use a pickling solution and then can them. So for this recipe we use this one, two, three solution for pickling, uh, which means that you have uh, one uh, part of uh, usually white vinegar, but we used our apple cider vinegar instead. Uh, two parts of sugar and three parts of water. Bring it to a boil and then uh, cut the jalapenos up and then you can store them uh, for quite some time. And then the cold came and the garden turned white with frost. There's no doubt that we are about to enter a new season. I like it and I feel very relieved that we managed to get the kitchen garden in order. But there is still some work to be done. Gathering the pots, protecting the roses and removing the dahlia tubers from the ground. So when it got warmer again, we set out for another day in the garden. We dug up the daylight tubers and ticked off another task on our list of winter preparations. And um, it feels good. It really feels good because uh, we used to be a bit late with all these tasks. But uh, this year I think we have things under control. So we say goodnight to our lovely dahlia flowers and um, now the tubers can rest in our cellar until next spring. The leaves turned from green to beautiful autumn colors and the wind days made the trees increasingly bare. We still have our largest gardening shore ahead of us, taking care of all the apples. Our largest apple tree is a late harvester, so um, by the end of October or beginning of November, the apples are usually ripe. It will take a few weeks before all the apples and leaves fall from the tree. We handle the apples in several rounds and there are usually so many that we can't take care of them all. Therefore, we put some apples in wooden boxes outside our house, allowing others to enjoy them as well. While I pick apples, uh, Jesper takes care of moving the pizza oven and uh, plants that can't uh, withstand the cold.
here we have our agapanthus. Um, we store them in the basement over the winter. Um, however, we first cut off all the flower stems to prevent them from drawing extra energy from the plant. Our energy is starting to dwindle for today, but uh, tomorrow brings new opportunities. Um, we will begin making the cider. Making apple cider has truly become a cozy autumn tradition for us. Uh, we have previously made a video about how we handle our apples and in that video we made apple jelly flavored with thin. We will leave a link in the description below to that video. It's uh, raining today so our hornbeam tuna is serving as a makeshift roof. Uh, we feed the divided apples into our apple crusher to break them down into smaller pieces. Once all the apples are finally crushed into small pieces, we bring out our press. We then carefully transfer the freshly extracted juice into containers and allow it to rest for a few weeks. And now uh, all that's left is to wait and um, hopefully we will create a new video when it's time for step two in our cider making journey.